Hey there, today we're going to talk about how to find the right keywords for your channel. We've already talked in other videos about finding the keywords for your YouTube video, but what about your channel? I'm going to show you today how you can search for good keywords that people are searching for and also where to put them in your channel. All right, so first of all, let's just pick a topic. Let's pretend we're doing a channel about dogs. So what I did is I went to www.youtube.com and in the YouTube search, in, within YouTube, I searched for dogs. And as you can see, dogs are extremely searched, well searched for. Most of these videos you'll see that will have millions and millions of people watching them. So they're very, very popular. What my vidIQ does, it picks up a score. There's a vidIQ search volume score, which is good. The higher the score, that means the more people that are looking for it. So um, in a perfect world, you would want that to say 100. You want that score to be as high as possible. Below that is a competition score. Unfortunately, we want that score to be low. So we want lots of people looking for it, but we don't want a lot of competition. So there is a huge amount of competition and the overall score is 41. You really wanna look at these two. You want search volume to be high, competition to be low. But that just gives you an example. I can go in to these different, um, I don't know who has these. Let me try a different topic. All right, let's look up passive income. I'm gonna look it up in my Google search, okay, first to see if people are even looking for it. All right, um, I have my keyword tools everywhere that I talked about in another video, and I'm gonna search it and see if this is something people are even searching for. So I'm gonna slide down here and my tool is gonna to kick in and here we go. 1600 people search for passive income in Reddit every month. Um, passive income ideas for 2018 is a thousand. Um, you might start looking for passive income strategies. That would be a better keyword to use because it doesn't, it has enough searches where people are searching for it, but there aren't a lot um, of people, if that makes sense. Um, it's not gonna be as competitive. Um, let's find, now let's look for that word in YouTube. You gotta do a little bit of playing around before you pick your words. Um, I went into YouTube and I looked for passive income and these are the top channels that came up. Again, passive income within YouTube the top number is high, so that means a lot of people are searching for it, it's a 67, but the competition is high as well. So you have to rethink, am I gonna put just passive income in there? Or let's try passive income strategies, because we just saw in Google, oops, I didn't spell it right, put the T in there. And let's see what happens there, if that changes things. Okay, and we're gonna search. Obviously we spelled it wrong, so the scores were low. All right, so let's pull that down. Now this is interesting. Um, passive income strategies is not searched at all. So that's not good. People are not typically putting that in, um, but there's a lot of competition. So what that means is there's a lot of people out there using it as a keyword, but people aren't looking for it. So it, it wouldn't be a word that you would use. So let's go back um, to just passive income. Okay, so that, cause that did have searching and I wanna show you how I go into other people's channels and find out what keywords are that they're using and then I do a search to find out if that's something I wanna use. All right, here's um, Gillian Perkins. She did a video on nine passive income ideas. So I'm gonna search for her name and I wanna go to her channel. And when I bring up her channel, if you slide down, now remember, I have vidIQ in there. It will pick up all the channel tags that she's using. And notice she's not even using passive income as one of her channel tags, because probably because there's a lot of competition, yet she still makes videos about it. But these are her channel tags. And what I would suggest doing is taking each one of these and doing a search and getting those scores. And then you decide what are the tags you wanna have on your channel. Here is somebody else. Um, let me bring up just a couple others. Uh, Gary V, very popular, right? He has millions, a couple million subscribers. He's in the passive income industry, marketing online, and making money from home and all that stuff. He's actually getting ready to change his target. He's looking more at um, living a good life. Um, if, you, if you read one of his, uh, his latest video right here, that's what he's talking about. 
But these are his keywords, uh, Gary V, Daily V, uh, marketing, success, social media. Again, no passive income, but he has self-help. He gives a lot of advice. So you can, again, pull up these words, do a, chart, a search, use your vidIQ, which will tell you um, what the scores are. Um, let's pick one. Let's look at social media strategy as an example. And we're going to do it in YouTube right here. Social media strategy. And let's see what happens. Remember, I want to make sure people are looking for this. They're, they're searching for it because then my video can pop up in their search. All right. Um, not too bad. Um, the video, the search is 32. It is higher than the competition, but the competition is low. So you might make a couple videos about that and see how they do. Um, and then you can go into some of these top videos, find out who they are. This is called Market and Hustle. I'm going to select that and go to their page. They have 1.3 thousand subscribers and I'm going to go down and see what their tags are. And here they are marketing strategy, market and hustle. Looking to grow your marketing digital influence digital. and your business? Okay. Get a jump start on the competition before it's too late. Subscribe to Market and Hustle, a weekly monthly YouTube series where you learn what to do and how to do it. So what are you waiting for? Get an edge on your brand. Subscribe today. And I'm gonna show you where you put them within your channel. And they will stay there. It's not like a video where you have to keep going back in and placing them. Um, what I'm going to do is go into my account. Now I'm set up for YouTube Studio Beta. I'm going to actually go into the old account that they have. And once I get in here, I'm going to scroll to the bottom. You may already be set on that, but it says a Creator Studio Classic. I'm going to select that. I always just hit other as my reason for going back. A lot of times because it's easier when uh, you're looking for certain things. Now on the left, there is a spot there that says channel and you're going to go under channel once you get to the creator studio and then I'm going to go into advanced settings. Okay. Whoops. And right here it says advanced. Now, when I had you set up your channel, I went through all this, but I'm bringing you back to show you again where those channel keywords go. They go under advanced settings under channel and they're all right here. Now I just looked up passive income. I might want to rethink that. I have that as one of mine on my channel, but I think I'm going to rethink that one since we did some research again and you know, go back and revisit it. Um, as you have your channel, you can go back and tweak things and just keep getting better, but you're going to put them in there with a comma actually in between. All right. And then they'll come up in your um, channel. All right. And that is how you find your keywords for your channel and how you put them in there. All right. Hopefully that was uh, helpful for you. I do have a link below. It's a, uh, playlist link for YouTube for beginners. Um, that's where this video is with some other videos that will help you get your new channel started. All right. Thanks for watching today.